Number 55. Consider the results of the archery contest shown in this figure. A. Which archer is most precise? Okay, so I have four archers here. Archer W, X, Y, and Z. We have to figure out which one is most precise. So I'm just going to title A over here. And now we have to just learn what precise versus accuracy is. If you have precision, or if you are more precise, that means that your individual tri trials, so I'm going to say your individual trials or experiments, if you're in like a chemistry lab, have very similar results. Another way of putting this is that your trials have very close, close numbers to the average. So this is a great example because I like to talk about, you know, a bullseye bow, like bow and hour archery contest with precision and accuracy. I think it's the easiest way to see it. So if an archer is going to be precise, that means that the individual who's ever shooting the bow has to have very similar results. They have to be, they should be in the same, you know, proximity to each other, as very, very close as they are. They just have to be very close to the average. That's why all of them should be tight together. They're very similar. So, let's see. Archer W, he had four shots. One here... Let me draw this in red. One here, 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 and here, right? So he was okay, right? But maybe there was somebody else that was the most precise. Which one had the same very, very similar results? It was definitely Archer X because all of his are very, very close together. Precision has nothing to do with getting the right answer or your, you know, the answer that you want. It just means, are you close together to the average? So which archer is most precise? It would be archer X. So because all of his shots that he had are in the same vicinity, very, very, very close together. And that's what precision is all about. They're very similar, very close together, which makes them very, very close to an average number. But precision has nothing to do with, um, in terms of an archer hitting the intended target, which is the bullseye. That has everything to do with accuracy. And that's leading us to the next question. It says, which archer is most accurate? So I'm going to put accuracy on the other side. So if an archer is accurate or if a experimental results are accurate, that means that the individual trials individual trials are very close to intended results. Now in um, experimental data, it would be close to your theory theoretical numbers, numbers that actually exist that are true, theoretical, theoretical numbers. Now, for a archery contest, how would you make yourself accurate? Well, you would want to hit the bullseye. So as many times as you hit the bullseye, that's your intended target, that's your intended result. The more times that you hit the bullseye, the more accurate you would want to become. So, for letter B, which archer is most accurate? It's going to be the one that's very close to the intended result. And in this case, it, you want to hit the bullseye. So, let's see. Well, now it's not going to be archer X, right? Because he was super precise, but he's not hitting over here. Look at Archer Y. He's all over the place, right? One over here, one over here, over here. He's not hitting the bullseye at all. Looks like Archer W is the closest to the intended target, 
right? The intended target is right smack in the middle, hitting that bullseye. So he's the closest. So that's why Archer W would be the most accurate. So just know the difference between knowing precision versus accuracy. Precision is closest group together to each other, but accuracy is closest to your intended target. Now, last but not least, we got to do C. It says, who is both least precise and least accurate? All right. So basically, who has never picked up an archery, you know, bow an hour before? <clears throat> who, whose first day was it? <laughs> so, C. Let's look at this. So it's not going to be X. W, so we can get rid of that. It's not going to be X because he was the most precise. I'm just going to say this was the most accurate, ACC. This is the most precise, so PRE. Now we're down to Y and Z. We've got to figure out which one is the least precise and least accurate. So we're looking for someone that's least P, so basically all over the place. Right? If you're least precise, you don't have any similar results. And least accurate, least A, not close to intended target. And in this case, the intended target is the bullseye. So what do you think? Archer Y or Archer Z? Which one would be the least out of all of them? It definitely would be Archer Y. Because he, I mean, he didn't even hit the bullseye, right? He's not even accurate at all. He didn't even, not even did he hit the bullseye, but he didn't even hit the, uh, the whole diagram here. He's all out of the board. At least this guy got two in, right? So he would be more accurate and probably a little bit more precise than Archer Y. But Archer Y, I mean, he's all over the place. So that is who would be the least precise and the least accurate. All right, guys, this was really fun. I hope you guys now know the difference between precision and accuracy. So take this and go and study. It's not any harder than this, especially for accuracy and precision. I hope to see you all in the next question. And if you want to, you can subscribe so that you can see when we're putting out new questions for you guys. All right, so I'll see you guys all in the next question. See you later.